Okay, Lee, pre-season's progressing nicely. Another good session tonight on the courts. Obviously, we've had two matches now. What's your assessment and sort of reaction to how things have gone so far? Very, very pleased with it, to, to be honest with you, Bill, at this moment in time. The players have bought into everything that pre-season's been about. Obviously, the introduction of Liam into the coaching team has been a, a real big uh, big move forward for us in terms of it gives a bit of invention to, to training and the players have definitely bought into that. Um, two games, obviously I wasn't at the game on Saturday, I've, there was a game of two halves, so you know with the, in terms of the score definitely reflected that with us get, getting in a good position at half time and then uh, obviously come the end of the game finding ourselves losing the match so obviously that's the disappointing side of things and that's something we're going to look into because obviously whilst friendlies are there to build, build up for, for a season you do want to set good habits and good standards in, in place and obviously being free and up in a game and conspiring to lose it isn't isn't something that we're we're gonna be uh proud about but obviously we'll, we'll make sure that we uh we we look at that and we deal with it and we look at the game coming at us tomorrow night and we're looking to go and give a good account of ourselves definitely and you've been doing pre-season for a number of years now lee how how is pre-season for you how do you sort of react at this time of year obviously it's great to see all the players come back you know everyone's got smiles on their faces and obviously we know the fa cup draw now which is we theme united how is everyone going into that one well, again, like you see, you said there, I've been doing pre-season for, for, for quite a, a, a load of years, not just at um, Bristol Manor Farm Book Clubs I've been managing that previously. And a good friend of mine, Ray Johnson, I think he struggles with pre-season because of the non-competitiveness of, of pre-season as such. And I, and, and I, I, I would actually echo that. I, I struggle with games whether or not points or cut progression at stake but likewise what you try and do as a manager and a team and a coaching staff is is to make sure that you have that edge you put an edge on the game you put a meaning into it because once it does start that in earnest you want to be ready to go and obviously there's no bigger game than on the, on the 5th of August us travelling away in the FA Cup task it probably couldn't have been a harder draw for us 10, 10 United away we played them recently in the FA Trophy and they, they beat us so we know that like they're, they're a good side good pedigree and we got to be at it to, to make sure that we progress in the FA Cup that like we know what it could lead to because we have had good journeys in that financially and the, the exposure it gives the place we don't want to be out of that without looking at it Definitely, and obviously you touched there on the bit and match tomorrow night. What can we expect from that one? Another good side. Obviously, we know that they dropped out for for reasons of their own, but you know they're back in step six now. So they, we've seen sort of the transfer activity that they've been doing. They're going to be bringing a lot of good players in. What can we expect from that match? Um, to be honest, I haven't really got an opinion on on the the bit and situation as as a club because like, obviously they chose to do what they do, and like obviously it's not for everybody. But that's that's so so on, and they're they're now back in at a good level. I know they're. The, the gentleman with Justin is to do with the, the running of Bitten and he's obviously a, a, a man that's got a lot of eagerness in him and, he, and I, I got no surprise that their recruitment is pretty hectic and uh, like I say I expect them to be coming up against a very very good side a lot of Southern League footballers playing for Bitten tomorrow and we're, we're, we're smarting from a defeat in our last game so we're, we're not going to go into it in any other way other than going into it to, to win be playing at full throttle and hopefully there'll be a good farm yard and the contingent there to watch you know the weather's going to be a bit iffy tomorrow but i think tomorrow night there'll be a good game of football on a on a decent playing surface and it's one that would be worthy of coming out and starting a weekend at.